Hi, Caleb with Brownhouse here. And in today's quick tip, we're gonna be installing the charging handle and spring kit from KID for the 1022, or in our case, a BRN22. Uh, so what this is, is just a basic charging handle and spring. So if you're familiar with the Ruger 1022 or similar, I think I have one in here, yes. Uh, so the standard charging handle is captured uh, with the recoil spring and that's the full setup of it. Pretty, pretty easy and straightforward, right? Now, this one here is a non-captured setup. Let me just open it up here. So you have your actual like charging handle itself, right? Where it locks onto the bolt and everything. And then you have your guide rod. And the guide rod is precision ground, so that, I mean, that thing goes on there nice and smooth. Wow, Th this is the first time I'm actually like playing with it here, is on, on camera, so uh, yeah, that's super smooth. It's pre precision, that's, words are hard today. This is a precision ground part to make everything perfect, so the tolerances from one end to the other are near perfect. All right, so why would you choose this over anything else, and why the heck does it come with a bunch of extra springs? Uh, well, the white spring, which is this one here, uh, they, yeah, oh yeah, there is white paint. There's a little bit of white paint on there. Um, this is a standard spring, so it's the same weight, same tension, all that stuff as your standard uh, 1022 spring, or Ruger spring, I should say. Then you have a red spring, which is a increased power spring, so 10% uh, increase. Then you have a green spring, and this one is a 10% decrease. Uh, so why would you use one over the other? Well, if you're just shooting standard ammunition and uh, you're not doing anything crazy, you want it to work with the widest variety of stuff, the standard white spring will do just fine. You don't need to change it. And that's actually the one we're going to be putting back in this gun. All right, the red spring, this is the heavier one. So why the heck would you use one weight over the other? It's just a 22, right? Uh, well, that's the exact reason. So this heavier spring, like if I'm shooting some super high velocity stuff and I'm doing it like maybe I'm doing it with my suppressor for whatever reason uh, then that is a good reason to use that spring so slow down that bolt velocity a little bit um, reason being because if you have too much of a bolt velocity that can cause malfunctions because your bolts moving too fast um, so it may not be picking up the next round it may be outrunning the actual ejection a lot of a lot of reasons there uh, so that's when you would use the red spring now why would you want to decrease that bolt velocity, or excuse me, increase that bolt velocity uh, with the green spring? Well, uh, let's say you're shooting subsonics or something like that and your bolt's just not cycling reliably. Well, in this case, you would want to use the lighter weight spring, all right? And I, I wouldn't recommend using the lighter weight spring with you know standard or higher velocity um, stuff. Some standard stuff, it'll work just fine. Uh, reason being, same reason, I mentioned before with the bolt velocity, uh, that's why. So the the basics of it, green spring uh, for your super lower velocity type stuff, red spring, higher velocity stuff, and the widest range, just stick with the standard white spring. All right, so to install it, all we do is take our spring and rod, then we are gonna set that in position on the back bottom of the receiver here and what I'm gonna do at this point is I'm gonna hold this in a vise here so we can both see it. I'm gonna move my coffee so I don't spill it. This will turn into an episode on how to clean coffee off the workbench. All right, we're gonna hold it just like that. So we're gonna take the guide rod and spring with that spear point in, seating in the back of the receiver. All right, so at this point, this is where things get a little bit tricky. You're just gonna to have to compress the spring on the rod to make room, if you can see that there, to make some room for you to slide the charging handle on. And then once that's on, all you need to do is push it back and in. All right, so at this point, you're gonna take your bolts, 
lay it on top in the rear, grab this charging handle and push it all the way back under that bolt. Just like so, and let it go forward. And that's all there is to it. You've installed the kid charging handle, and if you need to change springs, you just basically repeat that process and install a different spring. Um, obviously, this is a little bit more difficult to do with the red spring and a little bit easier to do with the green spring uh, because you have different tensions working against you. So, if you have any questions or comments, experience with this product, uh, let us know in the comments down below if you're watching this on YouTube. If you're watching this on the website, feel free to give us a call on the tech line. We'll be happy to help you out. Thanks for joining us, and we'll see you next time.